Welcome back to another episode of Grizzly True Crime. My name is Gizzela Kay, and today we're going to learn a little bit more about Brian Koberger. I am going to clip all the interviews that Haley has done. She is the lady that went on a date with Brian Koberger in 2015. She was 19 years old at the time. She's made a bunch of TikToks on it. I don't know if you've seen all of them or not. Maybe you've seen none of them. So I'm going to put them all here for you, as well as her interview with Inside Edition and News Nation as well, so that you can see every detail that she shared so far, even though, of course, it was seven years ago. There haven't been many more accounts of any type of like dating or something like that that he's been doing. So let's hope that we learn some more information as time goes on. The one thing I quickly want to share before I show you all those video clips is this account. So here they say Benjamin Roberts took four classes with Koberger. He seemed very comfortable around other people. He was very quick to offer his opinion and thoughts, and he was always participating fairly eagerly in classroom discussion. What we're learning from people that were in a classroom with him, neighbors of his, even in Washington, yes, is that he was very chatty. So far, we're gathering clingy and chatty. Interesting. He says Koberger appeared highly intelligent. Peter Van Sun says, does anything else come up uh, to mind that Brian said to you in the past that today you think might be of interest? And he said, there was a comment that he made and it was kind of a flippant guy talk thing. At one point, he idly mentioned, you know, I can go down to a bar or a club and pretty much have any lady that I want. Now, my question is, did he really say lady or did he say bitch? You know, like he did at in the Pennsylvania brewery that we looked at before. Um, very interesting. If you missed that whole story, I'll link it below for you as well so you can check it out. But I wonder if he said, I can go to a bar or club and pretty much have any lady that I want. Did he say any chick? Did he say any woman? Did he say any bitch or did he say lady? Either way, it doesn't sound like he was lacking too much confidence in that regard. I wouldn't be surprised if it turns out that he is actually not an incel, because I know people are labeling him as that, and I mean, he might be. But let's see what comes out of the woodworks as the days and weeks go on, because we are slowly but surely starting to learn a little bit more about Brian Koberger. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is play all those clips for you so that you can see the entire story all in one place that Haley Willett has shared with us. And then let me know in the comments below what you think about it. The point of me bringing this to the public's attention is the fact that there were untrue rumors going around about me just because I posted one Facebook comment about how I went on a date with him. People were saying I was his ex-girlfriend and that I knew more than I was saying. And the other point is um, to just be aware of who you're meeting up with um, and maybe save another 19-year-old girl from being stupid. Um, I was lucky that he didn't hurt me and I was lucky that no one else I went on a Tinder date with hurt me. Um, but things could have ended very differently. I recognized him immediately and my heart just sank because I couldn't believe that like I was face to face with this guy. I was kind of afraid to say no so I just let him come in with me. He kept trying to tickle me and I would ask him to stop or I'd say what are you doing and he would be like I'm not I'm I'm not tickling you and he would get very serious. I proceeded to pretend to throw up in the bathroom hoping that you know it would gross him out and he would leave. Did it work? Yeah. He um, had messaged me on Tinder and said that he was leaving and that he had a good time and that he would message me later. And then about an hour later, he messaged me and he said that I had good birthing hips and I just never messaged him back after that. It could have been me. Um, the big takeaway is that he seemed completely normal. Um, until, you know, we got back to my dorm um, and then he got kind of pushy. Yeah, um, he was touching me and, but, you know, I just asked, why are you touching me? Um, and he immediately got very serious and he said, I didn't. And I just was like, okay, but you are touching me. Um, and he was like, no, I'm, I'm not touching you. And he just got very defensive um, about it. So I just let it go after that. But it, yeah, it was very weird. Yeah, exactly. Um, this is a date I definitely told my friends about um, just because it was a little weird and especially his last comment to me. Um, however, I haven't really thought about it um, until I saw his face again and, you know, it made me look at it like, wow, he really could have 
hurt me or um, anyone, really. We just had a lot of small talk. I remember um, we talked about the fact that we were both psych majors at the time. Um, so I, I don't really remember any specific conversations or any specific details about them, um, but it was all very normal. It scares me um, because I was very young and dumb and I didn't think twice about um, having anyone you know, know who I was meeting up with, where I was going, what I was doing, um, and it all could have ended very differently. Um, and that makes me worried for um, other young women that, you know, they think they're invincible um, and don't think twice about, you know, telling someone where they're going or who they're going on a date with. Hey, it's me, the girl that went on a Tinder date with Brian. Um, a lot of people have been trying to dox me, um, specifically on Reddit, um, but I never thought the comments that I made on Hobot News um, would make it to TikTok or Reddit or literally anything. Um, but here we are. So um, I thought I would make this because a lot of people are just saying things that are not true at all. Um, my interactions with Brian were very gr uh, brief. Um, I don't know much about him. Um, my total interactions with him were like 24 hours. Um, we matched on Tinder. Um, we talked for a couple hours and then he was like, hey, you wanna go to the movies with me tonight? And I was like, sure. So um, we went to the movies. Um, honestly, I don't even remember what movie we saw. Um, we ended up going back to my dorm um, and he kind of invited himself inside. I thought he was just going to drop me off, but that was not the case. He kind of invited himself inside and I was just like, okay, I went along with it. Um, so he wanted to watch another movie on Netflix and I said, sure. Um, he kept trying to touch me. Um, not like inappropriately, just like trying to tickle me and like rub my shoulders and stuff. And I was like, why are you touching me or what are you doing and he would just like get super serious and he's like I'm not and I'm like you are though and he's like I'm not touching you kind of like trying to gaslight me into thinking that he didn't touch me which is weird um but then I was like I'm just gonna run to the bathroom quick and he was like okay and then he followed me to the bathroom um which I thought was kind of weird um so like in the dorm there was like a shared bathroom um he didn't go in with me but like he stood outside the door and like i don't know i just thought that was weird um and i was like i need to get this dude to leave um like just not into it um so i proceeded to pretend to throw up um to get him to leave um it wasn't because I was scared of him or like thought he would hurt me if I asked him to leave it was just mostly because I'm socially awkward didn't know how to ask him to leave um so that's what I did um he ended up messaging me on tinder that he was gonna go and I was like awesome my plan worked and then um about an hour later he texted me and said I had good birthing hips so this people in the comments are crazy so a lot of people are upset that I don't remember what movie I saw with Brian um I challenge you to remember a movie that you saw on a random night seven years ago um so what I can remember is that when he mentioned going to the movie that he already had a movie in mind um, I remember it was some kind of action movie and I can tell you that I did not care to see it, but I went anyway and that was that. Um, I want to say it had Bruce Willis in it, but, um, don't quote me on that. A lot of people are also overlooking the fact that this was seven years ago. Um, yes, I am currently married. Um, I started dating my now husband in August of 2015. Um, my now husband and I broke up from November of 2015 and March of 2016. 
and in between that time I went on a couple tinder dates and one of them was with Brian um, I'm not a swinger and I am not a polygamist um, no hate to those that are um, but just to clear that up also a lot of people are shaming me for allowing him inside um, I didn't really allow him inside um, when he parked his car I kind of just assumed that he wanted to sit and talk because you can't really talk to someone during a movie date um, so we did sit and talk in his car for a while um, and then when I mentioned going inside he was like oh I'll go with you and I was just like okay um, like he just seemed really excited about it um, I don't know I was 19 and stupid I did a lot of stupid things with men from tinder and no I did not sleep with him um, so oh, I don't remember exactly what pictures I had on tinder and I tried getting access to my tinder account and I couldn't figure out what my login is and I probably just deleted the account but these are some pictures of what I looked like then this is a selfie I took <laughs> and I probably use this one here is another selfie I took I miss that jacket forever this is a picture of me that I posted on every social media for whatever reason um, because I thought I was so cute um, but this is me in my McDonald's uniform from when I was at Penn State this is exactly what I would have looked like when I went on the date with him because this picture was taken only a couple days after this is also me <laughs> um this is one of my senior pictures thought I was hot shit so definitely posted this everywhere and another one of my senior pictures that I definitely posted so two things that I noticed from all those stories that I find to be a bit of a red flag is the gaslighting. Yes, when she says, why are you touching me? And he's like, I'm not. <laughs> okay, that, that is high level gaslighting right there. I'm like, I'm not because it's physical touch. You're literally touching the woman and she's saying, why are you touching me? And he says, I'm not and gets very serious. And the second thing would be Initially, when I heard it, I thought maybe they were at like a bar or, or like a, a pub, a club, and then he walked with her to the bathroom. But no, no, this was in her dormitory. That's a little bit weird. You know, when she's like, I'm going to the bathroom. He's like, okay. And then he follows her and waits outside. Strange, which is like, okay, is that like a safety thing he does? Is that his gentlemanly thing that he does? Or what is that? Is it a control issue? I find that quite interesting. But then also when she pretended to puke, then he texted her and like, I gotta go. Even that, then then the nurturing goes out the window, you see. So interesting how that plan also worked, that she's like, I'm gonna pretend to throw up and I hope this guy goes away, and he did. So let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you liked today's video. Short, sweet, just wanted to bring you this. There's so many bits and pieces that I'm putting together for you. And yeah, looking forward to read your thoughts. Stay safe.